In Florence battering the Carolinas right now with lashing winds and powerful rain, leaving a serious threat of catastrophic flooding. And unfortunately, the death toll is climbing right now. A mother and her baby in Wilmington were killed when a tree fell in their home. A woman in Pender County died of a heart attack after downed trees kept first responders from reaching her. And we're told two died in Lenore County. One was electrocuted while plugging in a generator. Another area hit incredibly hard is New Bern, North Carolina. Carolina. The slow moving storm dumped a lot of rain, sending rivers through the small town. You can see a boat still tied to the dock, completely submerged as surrounding rivers rush into the streets. That is where we find 13 News Now reporter Robert Boyd with more on the wild images. Well, David and Regina, the mayor of New Bern estimates that more than 4,000 residents received flood damage to their homes. I'm standing in the front yard of one of those residents. Take a look behind me right over here. You take a look at the front door. You can see from the debris the high water mark. About two feet of water got into that man's living room. Now take a walk with me across his front yard over to this side. Take a look at his street right here. This is Oakland Avenue, more like Oakland River tonight. Look at this. You can see those people wading through right now, almost knee-deep water. You know what that means? Too dangerous for cars and trucks to pass. We've seen a lot of vehicles getting stuck in the water today. People having to be rescued from their vehicles. And right now, really, the only uh, thing, the only way to get to downtown New Bern, which is about three miles away, is either on a boat or heavy duty military uh, type machinery. And uh, right now, that's very important because we've been told up to 150 people who did not evacuate downtown New Bern are now stuck there. Some of them climbing into their attics on top of the roofs, waiting to be rescued. And again, it's been very tough because you got to have a boat or something heavy duty. We've seen too many people getting stuck so those people are being told just to be patient and even people who haven't experienced flood damage still being very annoyed by this storm 22,000 people in this New Bern area without power right now but again it really comes back down to the flood damage that's what people are most worried about and you're going to hear from a homeowner right now who came home to again all that water in his living room real unexpected yes how bad is the damage going to be to your home and this is two foot of water in here so that's completely Got to be ripped completely out. The shop over there had about 18 inches of water. Are you worried that your house might not be able to overcome this? No, it'll overcome it. I'll fix it. I, I just repaired it all a few years ago, so we'll do it back. Is this the worst you've ever seen? Yes, here. And these homeowners now are just waiting this out, wondering when will the rain stop? Uh, some of them actually believe the water is starting to recede. However, it does keep pouring down rain. It has been raining the entire day out here, and it just keeps on raining. So a lot of those people, even people who evacuated and now are at family members' houses or hotel rooms, just sitting and wondering when will they be able to return, uh, hopefully sooner rather than later. Uh, but uh, we wish everyone out here in New Bern uh, the best of luck. Live in New Bern, Robert Boyd, 13 News Now.